Hey guys, it's Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we're going to be talking about return values in methods. So what you see here, this void, that is indicating the return value. So when you indicate void as the return value, like I said, void means like nothing. So you're saying I'm not going to return anything. Okay, so that's nice to know, but like thanks but no thanks, you're not going to return anything for me, like great. Let's create a function that is going to return something. So I, I've stripped our uh, last tutorial, just uh, I'm going to start over, start fresh. So we'll go private, uh, just so it's uh, going to limit the access. Then static, because you have to have the method be static if you want to call it directly from main. And then instead of it being void, what you actually do is you specify a, da a, data, type, a data type. So I'm going to specify int. This function is going to return an int value. Then uh, we'll name it, we'll go sum, I'll build off that sum function we had, and I'll have a int a num1 for the first parameter, and then int num2 for the second parameter. And I'll hit the opening brace, and then the closing one appears when I hit enter. And, uh oh, Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, this is exactly, actually exactly what we need. So it's saying that it must return a result of type int. And then there's, a, there's two quick fixes available. You can change the return type to void because nothing is returned in the, um, in the function, in a void function, so you don't need to return anything. Or it's saying you can add a return statement. And that, that's what, when I keep referring to return, that's what a return statement is. It returns this value. And I'll kind of show you what you mean, what I mean by return right now. So let's call this function. Uh, or actually, let's let's write the function first. So we have uh, num1 and num2. What we are going to do? Let's just make a num, another variable called uh, int result. We can't. I was going to name it sum, but that's the name of our method, so we don't want to do that. So int result is equal to num1 pl oops num1 plus num2 and we'll close that off and so that's going to uh, the results going to equal the sum of the numbers and then a return statement you literally just type the word return you can see that's in uh, in the little purple so you know that's that's on the right track and then you type the name of the variable you are returning so return result and now it's all happy it's all content except there's i mean there's a little warning but there's no errors and so now we can use this function so let's uh, have the uh, let's create another variable in main we'll call it um, uh, what do we want to call it just call it var and uh, then we are going to utilize this return fun uh, return method this sum that returns a variable so if you remember in my tutorial, I think it was the first tutorial about methods, where I was discussing how you start in main, and then if we were to call this uh, method sum and just put in like two and four, it's going to uh, run this method, and it's going to get to here, and it's going to say, okay, I need to find sum, and then it's going to go to sum, and then it's going to run this method, and then it's going to return to main. I kept saying like jump back, but it really the, the correct term to say would be is it's going to return to main after it's done executing this method. So when it returns, it, it can come back with a value. So it's going to come back with an int value. If we just run this, the function will run fine, the method will run fine, but it's not going to do anything. What we wanted to do is we can set this uh, variable var equal to the return of sum. So that's how you use the return value. So what you can do is you can have a variable be set equal to the return value of sum. So that works perfectly. And if we, just in case you don't believe me, if you think I'm a filthy liar, we'll do system.out.println and print out var. And I told you I wasn't lying. So two plus four is equal to six. And since we're outputting var, that's showing that this return value is actually working. Uh, let's just, let me show you a couple other cool things you can do with the uh, return value. You don't actually need to have um, this whole thing be created. What you can do is you can just do return num1 plus num2, and that does the exact same thing in one less line of code, and you're not 
having to create another variable. So you're saving space there. So that's actually probably the preferred way to write that method. I was just trying to break it down for you guys. Uh, we don't need to have this be on a separate line. We can just de uh, declare a variable right there. And uh, let me just change these numbers around. Let's change this to like three and like eight. So you, you see how this works. And if we'll run this, you'll see that I get 11. So you see that this method is still working correctly. Uh, another thing, you can't have more than one return value. It can only return um, it can only return one uh, one data type. There are some things we'll get into later where you can kind of work around this, but you can really only return one thing of data. Okay, and uh, one other kind of cool thing I haven't really discussed with methods yet, and I think it fits well with return values and uh, parameters. I am going to get rid. No, I'm not going to get rid of this. What I'm going to do, I'll, I'll just retype it up to be, not be confusing or anything. Int um, var is equal to sum. For the first parameter, what we're going to have it equal to is we're going to have the first parameter be equal to the sum, oops, not capital, the sum of five and nine. And then the second parameter is going to be equal to, um, just nine. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, you have an int named bar, and you're setting it equal to the sum of the sum of five and nine and nine. So you can plug in these uh, methods really anywhere you'd like with with these return values. So because when it's uh, when you're putting this sum function anywhere, it's going to say like, okay, you are essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, essentially just putting an int value right here. So I might as well just put 14 because I know that's what the sum of five and nine is. But if you had some sort of like dynamic variables that you didn't know what the values were uh, before runtime, you would have this function there and this would work perfectly fine. So we should get 23 if we all run this and you see that's what we got right here. So it's kind of cool how you can embed methods like that. I mean, you could really have like another sum in here, a sum of like five and five and nine, and then you should get like this, like what is that, 38 or 28. Um, but we're not gonna do that, that's, that's just excessive. But just know that you can, um, you can really plug these methods in anywhere that uh, a variable should be present. So it's kind of cool, another cool thing that you can do with return values. Return values are definitely very useful. It really adds more functionality to methods and they would not be where they are today without return values. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and next tutorial I am sure you will enjoy as much as this one. See you guys later.